what I'm calling the authentic self, or the creative principle, or Eros, only re reveals itself through action. When something came from nothing, right, there was a movement from absolute stillness to unceasing activity. What I'm calling the authentic self does not reveal itself in meditation. You can't awaken to the authentic self in meditation. So the authentic self is it, when, how you see it, you, you know, it's unmistakable. It's this unselfconscious creativity. Any creative individual, from from a, you know a genius trial lawyer to a passionate egoless public servant to a great poet or writer, anybody who's completely committed to the creative endeavor at any level, who's reached a level of mastery where there's an unselfconscious intelligence is surging through them expressing that which transcends, but it includes but transcends the world. That's what the authentic self is. So usually this is understood as kind of, you know, create, you know, it's called creativity. But what I've done with this notion of authentic self is we say, well, okay, now we're not talking about making music or making art. We're talking about freeing the self so the self itself can become the instrument that's playing that music.